Make a feral cat shelter from a styrofoam cooler filled with straw. Video by Vladimir Kitten Project. Repurposing unwanted styrofoam coolers is a great idea. These styrofoam boxes were used to ship vaccines to veterinary practices. You could ask a local veterinarian if they would give you their unwanted coolers. You could also try a hospital and see if they could get into a routine of putting aside styrofoam boxes for you and notifying you when you could collect them. A seafood distributor might also become an ally in supplying you with old coolers they no longer need. We know of a person who works for a medical lab and when they get medical equipment delivered in the big styrofoam boxes, he sets them aside for cat rescue as they are of no value to the lab. Try to think of some business near you that would be receiving styrofoam coolers and who would probably be happy to have you take them away to save them from having to cart them off to recycling themselves. You might want to approach a recycling plant that accepts styrofoam. You could ask the manager of the recycling facility if they could set aside any intact coolers for you. Approach them with a flyer in hand with your contact details and the specifications of what you're after. Solid, intact boxes, not jagged edge stuff that usually packs electronics. If they agree to become your cooler dealer, then ask if there is somewhere that your flyer could be posted so that all staff can be on the lookout for what you need, maybe a pinboard in the lunchroom. You could post a wanted ad asking for coolers on a free online site, and then be careful to keep renewing the ad so that it stays visible. Searching such a website might also show that someone has a styrofoam box for sale for cheap. Straw can be bought from any type of animal feed store. Think of where someone in your area would buy duck food or things for their horse. Wherever your styrofoam coolers come from, they can be easily altered for their next purpose. They make simple and warm shelters for feral cats. One cooler can house a pair of fixed ferals placed in a barn home or a collection of coolers can shelter a colony of feral cats after a trap neuter return project. To make an entrance, trace around a cereal bowl and then saw out the hole with a thin serrated blade. A grapefruit knife got this job done. If you want to add a wind guard or rain block to the shelter, you can. An easy way to make a wind block is to cut the end off of a thin plastic flower pot with a pair of scissors and then fit it over the entrance hole. You can use glue or caulking to secure it in place. Another method is to secure a piece of stiff waterproof material to the entrance hole. Make sure the material is not flimsy or else the wind will blow it inwards, letting rainwater run down it and into the shelter. Depending on where you can place the shelter for the cats, it might be possible to have the entrance hole close to a wall or a tree or some other object that can act as a wind block. Whether or not you put straw inside a styrofoam shelter is up to you. If the shelter will be shared by a number of feral cats snuggling up together, as they like to do once they are sterilized and the hormones are taken out of the equation, then stuffing it full of straw leaves less room for cats. On the other hand, if the shelter is for only one or two cats, and there will be a lot of extra room in the shelter, then straw can help fill the space. The styrofoam is much more important for insulating the cat than straw is, so if you don't have any straw, or choose not to put straw in the styrofoam shelter, then that is just fine. Know the difference between hay and straw. This is a picture of straw. Hay is usually green, and it should never be used for bedding because it rots when it gets wet. A shelter is only usable if it has the ability to stay dry. Bedding that gets wet and stays wet, such as hay or fabric, then freezes or rots, and then the cat won't use the shelter. Straw is yellow, and when a wet cat sits on it, it is able to wick away the water and dry itself out. Straw does have one drawback, though. It is impossible for the combine to remove absolutely all of the seeds. A few of them will be scattered throughout the straw. We have heard from pet groomers that these hay seeds can get tangled not only in an animal's fur, but can get embedded in their skin. Perhaps the solution is to use straw inside shelters for short-haired cats, and to insulate shelters for long-haired cats in some other way. It's something to think about. If you do decide to use straw as bedding, the shelter can be filled right up. The cats will either burrow in it or pack it down. 
Catnip can be sprinkled inside if you like. It might send the cat into a frenzy, but hopefully the straw will protect the styrofoam floor from being clawed up during catnip delirium. It will be obvious if the shelter is being used by how the straw bedding looks. Tape around the shelter to secure the lid onto the base. Wrap the tape completely around the shelter and back over itself. After time, the tape will no longer stay stuck to the styrofoam, but it will stay stuck to itself. If the coolers are going to be placed indoors, such as in a barn, then they are ready to go. If the coolers are going to be placed outside, then they need to have garbage bags taped all over them for a layer of weatherproofing. Rain will seep through a plain cooler eventually and the styrofoam will degrade, but a layer of black garbage bags will protect it and camouflage it. Make sure not to leave a flap of plastic over the entrance. We have found that the wind will blow this fold inwards and water will run down it and into the shelter. Place the shelter somewhere secluded so that the cats will use it. Sitting it off of the ground, such as on a pallet, is better than directly on it. If a cat leaps out quickly, it will move the shelter's position, so weigh it down with a piece of wood to keep it in place. You might need a brick placed on top of that too. Don't use a weight that is so heavy it will damage the styrofoam. This simple shelter will keep a pair of feral cats warm even in winter.